All right, well, Sunday morning, as you can see, we've got a little mess going on, which means some work's getting done, which is a good thing. So uh, we uh, did all of our seam sealing uh, back in here. Um, you know, got the corners of the trunk pans where we put those in. And we seam sealed it from the bottom side as well and uh, the back side of our quarter panel seam that we did before. Um, so, uh, and then uh, the package tray back in the back of there. Seam sealed all that up back through there. That was rusted out pretty bad and had to do some repairs back in there. And then we fabricated this package tray uh, a while back. So we uh, just hit it with some spray bomb and unfortunately the slight bit of overspray from the spray bomb, although it was really controlled, got out here on the paint and uh, I mean, it's not bad. It's just a, you know, not as slick as it was. So I just went over this with the blue, uh, blue foam pad again, and it cleaned it right up. So we'll end up, you know, when the whole thing's together again, go back over it with the blue pad just to uh, clean up anything we get on it. But we've got to make some brackets and do some things to get uh, working on this this brake. So we're going to cover the car in plastic, all the panels and tape up each individually so we can still get inside the car um, because uh, we got to do some cutting and grinding and drilling and bending and you know don't want all the dust and metal filings from all that landing everywhere and then you know rubbing up against it uh, you know and grinding those filings into the paint so we're going to get it all covered up now we should have done that before I believe somebody that watches these videos mentioned that but I haven't done it yet so we'll do that today all right, we'll uh, come back and show you more later if we uh, make any progress. All right, we've got everything covered up in plastic, got our fenders covered up. So we're gonna work on these uh, brake lines and I fixed mounted uh, the proportioning valve to the inner apron there, fender apron. And uh, James Freddies and I think a couple other people pointed out that if I was gonna do it that way, the lines going over to it needed to be the spiral type. And I thought I had enough zigzag in this uh, that I was doing it like Rob Razdi Formetta was, but in talking to him and looking at his video in more detail, uh, what I need to do is mount uh, the distribution block, which has also got the proportioning valve built into it um, underneath here. So I'm going to make a bracket that comes down, and uh, so that this. Uh, so that it's mounted to the same fixture, um, you know, and on, on the same movement as uh, the master cylinder. So we'll, uh, and then that way I can use, uh, I can just run short lines to it, and then coming out of that I can use the Z bins uh, down to the frame rail. So uh, that's the plan, and uh, we'll get started on it. All right. Here's what happens when you don't complete the mock-up during mock-up. Yeah, I had to weld a tab on for the uh, brake hose there. So, and uh, man, I don't know what the deal is if I, if I just forgot how to weld or what, but I was beginning to think that. Uh, yep, hit it with a grinder right there. So uh, I ground that off, the paint off, the primer and everything all the way down to the bare metal and ground the tab. It had some kind of coating on it. And that thing would not weld for, for anything. I mean, it was ground down to good metal and um, it was just spitting and sputtering. And so I grabbed another just piece of scrap metal just to make sure I had the welder set up right and it welded perfect. So I don't know what was going on with it, but it sure did leave a ugly blobbed up looking well but it's in there strong enough for the brake hose so uh, anyway making progress on it show you what we did here um, I don't know if you can see it or not we gotta hang on a second
Uh, we got a bracket in there and our distribution block. So the master cylinder and distribution block are all basically one unit and should flex at the same time together. And uh, we got our lines going to that. So um, what I did was I went to Lowe's and uh, excuse me, uh, put my flashlight down. How about that for a flashlight? Uh, I just made a list of all the different connection points and took the one of each of each of the connection points and went to Lowe's and grabbed a few different bolts um, to see which ones were which sizes. You pretty much tell, but wanted to make sure none of them were metric. And uh, the only one that's metric is this master cylinder. Uh, these ports are metric. So what I'm going to do is take these mock-up lines off and label each end with what kind of end goes on it, and I'm taking it to a local place that'll uh, bend, bend, bend up the lines and flare them and everything, put the right ends on them. So it'll save a little time and save the hassle of, uh, uh, you know, rebending and not getting the flare right. And I'm, I'm happy to pay somebody to do that. Uh, and I can move on to other stuff. So anyway, we got the tabs welded on both sides. We're going to start making the front uh, two lines now, or at least the coat hanger lines. And then, uh, and then we'll do the rear. All right, here's what we got. I don't know if this is hopefully showing up pretty good there. I think the uh, this one with the zigzags pretty good. The other one may not have enough uh, bends in it to give it the uh, slack it needs. And then uh, let me know what you think about this uh, right here. Uh, run underneath the frame rail. I don't know if that's acceptable or not. I got a couple of holes that Go through the frame rail, but I don't know how I could get a brake line through there and then you know one that's bent so uh, The original factory steering box mounted there So those holes go all the way through so it kind of makes a jog down and connects up like that I don't know let me know what you guys think if that's acceptable or not on that and then uh on that if it looks like some of that needs to be redone. Thanks everybody.